Well, 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 traveller. Back again, I see. What is it that Cryptid Central can do for you today? Really? You wish to learn about that cryptid, do you? Very well. I shall impart to you the information you seek. Have a seat, and I will tell you all about the Yeti. The Yeti, also known as the Abominable Snowman, is a type of Bigfoot that makes its home in the remote glaciers of the Himalayas. Yeti sightings go back as far as the 6th century, with the most recent being in 2011, with most taking place on the K2 mountain. According to recent sightings, the Yeti is said to be a huge, upright, walking ape creature that stands from 8 to 11 feet tall when fully grown, and most often have a white, furry coat. There have also been sightings of Yeti with brown, reddish or black hair, suggesting that several subspecies may also exist. Several expeditions have taken place to find the Yeti, however, only footprints, bones and hair samples have ever been discovered. This may indicate a wariness of humans on the Yeti's part, perhaps due to past conflicts. Tibetan and Nepalese monasteries have collected several skulls and bones of the Yetis, some of which preside in the Smithsonian Museum today. Although one of their specimens was proven to be a human bone, others contained in the museum are still in question. In 1832, in the Journal of the Asiatic Society of Bengal, an account by B. H. Hodgson, a trekker in northern Nepal, was published in which he described spotting a large bipedal creature covered in long dark hair. He says, My shooters were once alarmed in the Kachar by the apparition of a wild man, possibly an orang, but I doubt their accuracy. They mistook the creature for a cacodemon or rakshas, types of demons, and fled from it instead of shooting it. It moved, they said, erectly. It was covered in long dark hair, and had no tail. In the 1950s, world-renowned mountain climber Sir Edmund Hillary grew curious about the identity of the so-called abominable snowman. Footprints in the snow and in mud were found to indicate that some type of cryptid matching its description was active in Nepal, Tibet, and the surrounding region. In 1952, Hillary, along with George Lowe, a member of his team, found hair on a high pass while in the mountains, which they deduced as belonging to the Yeti. In 1953, Yeti tracks were found by Hillary in the Baron Kola Range, and in 1954, two members of Hillary's team discovered Yeti tracks in the Choyang Valley. His trusted Sherpa friends would tell Hillary of their first-hand sightings of the man-sized Yeti. When Hillary went to the Himalayas to look for the Yeti, he and his collaborator, journalist Desmond Doig, noted that there were several unknown primates said to be there still undiscovered. Among the varieties was one called the Nialmo. Hillary and Doig learned of the Nialmo in north-central Nepal. It was said to be up to 20 feet tall, man-like, hairy, and was known to shake giant pine trees in shows of strength, while other Nialmos sat around and clapped their hands. Hillary remained a supporter for the possibility of the existence of the Yeti up until his death in 2008. The most disturbing encounter with the Yeti occurred on February 2nd, 1959, and has since come to be known as the Incident of Dyatlov Pass, named after the leader of the doomed group, Igor Dyatlov. This strange occurrence took place in the Ural Mountains, on the Russian side of the Himalayas. On this night, they were suddenly attacked by what has since come to be regarded as a group of yeti. This was no savage attack by feral animals, however. The assault seemed to be much more tribal and organized in nature. Some of the hikers' eyes were gouged out, and their tongues were precisely and cleanly severed. Could it be that they were inadvertently intruding on yeti territory, and so they were brutally killed for this reason? In 2014, the Discovery Channel broadcast a special called Russian Yeti, The Killer Lives. The documentary looks at the wounds inflicted on the dead hikers and offers its opinion that they were caused by something much stronger than a human being. Frightening stuff. 
as if hiking in the freezing, snowy mountains wasn't dangerous enough. The Yeti has as many believers as it has skeptics, but what if we were never meant to know for certain if this legendary cryptid really exists? Are they a highly intelligent species who wants to keep their small society a secret? Could it be that the Yeti or Yetis live in self-imposed exile and isolation, somehow knowing that their existence being known to humans would seal their doom? Will we ever know the truth? Or better yet, do we even deserve to know the truth? <laughs>